almost a year, this Harlan Electric wire stringing crew has been pulling wire in southern New Jersey on the Southern Reinforcement Transmission Line project. Clear. The 230KV ACCR bundled conductor making its way through the travelers is being installed on lattice towers, new monopoles, and H-frame structures. 100 foot to stop. 100 foot to stop. PSENG of New Jersey spearheaded the $435 million Southern Reinforcement Project to replace aging infrastructure, boost power capacity, and help improve service reliability. Harlan Electric's portion of the job consists of a 10-mile overhead transmission line from PSENG's switching station in Gloucester City to the Mickleton substation in Gibbstown. Another two-mile circuit starts at PSENG's Camden switching station in Pensauken and runs over the Delaware to the Port Richmond substation in Philly. This heavily populated and congested corridor posed many challenges for the line workers, starting with the commuter rail and Conrail freight trains passing through. As the trains are coming through the project, the crews have to make sure they maintain a certain distance from the tracks themselves. We stop all overhead work, you know, move our cranes, move our baskets you know, over to the side. Uh, that way we're not over the top of the tracks when the, when the trains come through. And when you're 140 feet up in the air, the high-pitched whistle of an approaching train is not a welcome sound. It interrupts our work uh, tremendously. The rhythm, because once you're up there doing something, you have to stop and come down. Because there was very little space in which to position or maneuver equipment, both wrecking out and erecting structures was a challenge. Transfer that uh, hard line out of the small block. For Harlan Project Superintendent Charles Redbird Burton, the hustle and bustle of this right-of-way took a little getting used to. I come from Kansas, living in a little town of 777 people. Come to South Jersey, me and a half people. Culture shock, more or less, so we don't get in the bind. Like Redbird's 30-plus years in line construction enabled him and his team to overcome every challenge. We've had the best of equipment, the best of tooling, a lot of veteran experience. With the backing of the MOR group, we accomplished a major feat here. I think everybody has done real well with all the challenges that we've faced with. From our superintendent down to the lineman to the groundman, excellent workforce. I think Harlan proved that we can compete with anybody over here.